Well, hello everyone. Once again, we welcome you from all of us here at Calvary Chapel Hemet to our daily devotional and just always express to you what a, what a blessing and a privilege it is for us to be able to do that. And we pray always that you are, are blessed as well. Before we begin, let's go before the Lord in prayer. Father, we just come before you, Lord, and we come to you with thankful and grateful hearts that we're able to do this, that we're able as brothers and sisters in Christ to be able to share your word together. All glory and honor, of course, Lord, goes to you. We pray this in your most precious name. Amen. So speaking of prayer, I've been praying for for quite some time to share this devotional with you today. And probably more than likely, it's because I personally have been walking through it myself. And what a joy and what a comfort that it has been for me. And I'm sure if you're anything like me, and in many ways I'm sure you are, um, it's just such a blessing for us to get the comfort that God gives us in his word. Well, I'd like to uh, begin by saying, first of all, that that I'm a, a strong proponent of believing that God's word has two parts, his part and our part. And nowhere is it more evident, evident, at least to me, than it is in Psalm 91. This psalm is a promise for all of us to claim. It's a promise of God's protection over us, and it involves our part and God's part. I'd like to read the first two verses to you. Psalm 91, verses one and two. He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And I will say of the Lord, you are my refuge and my fortress, my God, and you I will trust. And that's our part. So you see, my friends, uh, it's necessary. We must choose. We must choose to dwell in him and with him. We must choose to pursue after him. We must choose to resist all obstacles that, that might stand in our way. We actually need to take an, an active position to dwell with him day by day and moment by moment. And then as we, re uh, we, have abide, we abide in him, we then begin to respond to him as our way of life. It becomes who we are as children of God. We respond to his teachings and we respond to his word. And we ex respond to the example that he has set forth for us when he walked here on this earth. We live under his shadow. You know, it's not the shadow, by the way, that offers us his protection. It's the Almighty One. It's the one who casts the giant shadow over those of us that belong to him. Some compare this to him being like a mother hen, that you know that mother hen that hovers over her baby chicks, guarding them, watching over them, protecting them moment by moment, every minute, every second of their day. And now if we move on and we look at verses 3 to 16, we see his promises to us, to those who dwell and who abide with him and in him. And obviously, because of time, we're not going to be able to go through all of those verses. So I'd like to challenge you and encourage you to read those verses, pray over them, and ask the Lord to open up your heart and speak to you on a personal level all of those promises that follow. We know that, uh, uh, by the way, having said that, I would like to encourage us with verses 3 and 4 to give us hope for our future, for each day that we walk in this troubled world. As a dweller and as an abider in Christ, he then shall deliver us from the snare of the fowler, 
which scripture tells us is the enemy, and from the perilous pestilence, and that's every evil that's known to man. That's what our God will do for us. He will cover us with his feathers, and under his wings we will take refuge. Well now, my friends, I don't know about you, but as for me, that's where I want to hang out. I want to be dwelling in him, abiding in him, and then waiting for that blessed day of eternity to come. So my friends, I close with those words of encouragement and hope, and we pray as we go before the Lord. And Father, we thank you. We thank you for the beautiful promises that, that you have given us here in this psalm. We pray, Lord, that we take them to heart, that you refresh our minds and our hearts, and we begin to live in your promises that we began to become more and more each day those women and those men that you have called us to be. We pray this in your most precious name. Amen. Well, goodbye now, my friends, and have a blessed day in the Lord.